Chess friends, how are you? Today again I will show you the crazy chess game between 8 grandmasters and alpha zero, game rule is that, if any of the 8 grandmasters find the best move or top engine move, computer will play the best move in the game, and this is your today's puzzle, 90 IQ chess puzzle, solve it and comment me, so let's go, some want to play e4, some want d4, we have e4 because it's the most chosen move, alpha played e6 french defense, d4 d5. Some grandmasters want to take it and push it and here we have knight c3, here is an amazing trap started with bishop b4, let me show it, then e5 b6, white will play queen g4 to target this pawn then bishop f8 bishop to g5, to target the queen, queen d7 white will consider castle, then h6, if you play bishop h4, then the killer move will come g5, bishop here then h5, you have two options to play, if queen f3 happen then push the h pawn to trap the bishop. And if you play queen takes g5 then bishop h6 will kill your queen, game will be over but in this position alpha 0 played knight f6 instead of bishop b4, so e5 knight d7, knight d7 looks like passive but he is motivating the pawn to go forward, and the queen and the bishop is ready to support the position, Hikaru wants to play knight f3, another one want this, but we have the top move f4 by Magnus and e and c5 knight to f6 knight c6 bishop e3 queen b6 knight a4. This targets to the pawn and the queen, so queen a5 check by alpha, c3 try to hold the position and support the knight, pawn takes d4, knight takes or bishop takes pawn isn't good, let me show you why, if bishop takes pawn happen then b5 will come to seize the knight, knight have no right place to go so knight c5, Knight takes knight before then alpha will sacrifice the knight by capturing the pawn, after takes queen takes check queen d2 knight e4 queen takes queen bishop takes and king here, that's it. White is totally losing because black have the positional play, which means he is going to seize and passivating the white's position and pieces, and the white's king is exposed, so back to the position, we have before and here alpha zero sacrificed his knight by capturing the pawn in front of eight grandmasters, Grandmaster was drinking his tea and seeing this, he threw the tea out of his mouth, we have pawn takes bishop takes check bishop here, bishop takes d2 knight takes d2 b6. Bishop out on d3 knight c5 to target the bishop and the knight with two pieces so eight grandmasters consider to take the knight, pawn takes and alpha gets his three pawns army to reach their destiny, knight for three pawns and positional play isn't bad, castle bishop d7 f5, whenever you see this type of move, I mean castled side rook is supporting the pawn to break your pawn structure and unity, then just the pawn, white can't do anything, clear the position before white create any problems for you in king side. Here alpha played castle and his king is well protected, knight f3 by most of grandmasters but best move was to play. Knight b3, to pressuring the queen and pawn, so queen c3 queen e1, mistake move best was to play rook c1, to get access in this c file with a benefit to get extra move, rook b8 and here best move is to play rook f4, but they didn't find it, they were 8 grandmasters, that means 2800 elo for each one, which will be almost 22400 elo rated big human, but they are big fool human, let me show you the variation what will happen if rook f4 happen, you may say, what is the difference? Then queen e3 queen takes queen d takes e3 rook e1 d4 to stable the position then white give back his knight to black, after takes takes and this position would be almost equal, game would be a draw, I hope they can make the game at least a draw in the end game, because they are 8, alpha is 1, but in our actual game, they didn't find rook f4 any of 1, of you copy the position and tell a grandmaster or 2800 rated bot, what is the best move in this position. They would say, ah uh, push the pawn or move the rook, slide the king or move the knight, rook f4 is hard is fine because it's a 3200 elo move, rook c1, queen takes e1 check and if you take it with the rook, let me show you the variation then d3, black will get a free opportunity to push the pawn, so here we have knight takes e1 to cover that square to move the pawn, so c4, rook to f4, d3 knight f3 rook d8, rook d4, try to stop the aggressive pawn army from moving, h6. Magnus played h4 because he is a stockfish subscriber, and chess friends, 
If you want to be smart in chess then you can like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more episodes, we have king f8 king f2 rook b2 check, and targeting the pawn at the same time, king here king e7, if you play rook a1 to protect the pawn, let me show you the variation, then the rook will be restricted, his only job is to protect the pawn and he will not able to work in a other place, then push the to support him. I mean the position will be totally bad for white, he will lose the game, position will be minus 3.2 position, rook d7 will come, then just push the pawns forward, white can't do anything in that particular position, so back to the position we have h5 rook takes a2 rook on b1, a5 rook b7 check rook d7 rook takes king takes, this rook and king move gives an opportunity to get a free pawn, but that will not help anything for white because alpha have three passed pawns. So king c7 rook d8 a4 check king d5 rook d8 check king here check king escapes rook b8 king c3, now the king is totally saved by the pawns, rook b7 a3 takes rook here and after some more moves later, we have this position where the king goes for a rook attack rook a7 a2 e6 king here rook here c3, you cannot take the c3 pawn because of pawn promotion, so here we have knight d7 to target the rook, rook goes to e4. And here if you try to save the knight by playing knight f3 then d2 will come to give promotion himself, and no matter what you will play, you will lose the game, if rook takes c3 happen then black will promote his pawns, so, back to the position we have king f3 rook takes, e7 d2, white promotes his pawn first but when alpha promotes his pawn, then the king have to run, king f2 rook f4 check king here queen here, and there is a checkmate in few moves, 8 world champions grandmasters together get checkmated by one computer engine, alpha zero, so wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.